Hey guys, Bryson at PLR Electronics here. Today I'm going to be going over how to change out your floppy drive for a floppy to USB replacement drive. So the first step is going to be removing these four plate screws here. And what that's going to do is that's going to loosen the plate from the actual control panel itself. So we'll have our ribbon cable here on the left and then our power cable here on the right. So first we'll remove this ribbon cable and as you can see here, we, we have a white stopper on ours and that lets us know which way this needs to go, but you can put these in backwards. It's a common issue that we have. So they're slotted to fit both ways. So if you're running into issues with your panel after replacing uh, your floppy, this just make sure you wanna check that ribbon cable and make sure it's put in there the proper way. So we'll remove the ribbon cable now over the power cable here and as you can see on the bottom there's just a little finger grip that you can grab onto and pull that cable right out. Once we have that removed we're going to have three screws on each side here and those are holding the side brackets on. So we'll go ahead and remove those screws as well and once we have those out we can just go ahead and insert the, that bracket and those screws back onto our new floppy to USB drive. This will be the device that we're going to be inserting here so once you have all of those brackets back on correctly, we can go ahead and reassemble it the same way we disassembled it. That would be starting the same way. We'll go ahead and use the ribbon cable. We're going to make sure the orientation is correct. We're not putting that in backwards. We'll reconnect the ribbon cable there and then reconnect the power cable. So once we have gotten both of those reconnected, we can just go ahead and put our four screws back in the same exact spot that we had taken them out of. And once that is done, your control panel is put back together and at this point, you'd be good to mount it back on your machine. And keep in mind that some control panels will be different than others. So if you have a different control panel, please refer to the manufacturer's manual or other support videos that we have. Thanks.